Take a look at crypto because you've got Bitcoin plunging today. It did fall briefly below 50,000, now just slightly above that level, but breaching or falling below 50,000 for the first time that we have seen since February. When you take a look at Ethereum, that's also moving lower here this morning, off just about 24%, erasing its gains for 2024. And Brad, we bring this up because lots of talk about whether or not this is, should be viewed more as a place where people put their money when they do see a lot of volatility and risk play out in the markets. But when you take a look once again, which has been the case now going back for uh, the last several, several months, is that it is moving in tandem with what we're seeing specifically within the NASDAQ and the type of pressure almost across the board. We are seeing this flight out of cryptos the crypto space, also crypto stocks taking a hit as well. But again, Bitcoin here falling just around that 50,000 level, critical level here to watch throughout today's trading day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime you have a de-risking like we're seeing right now, crypto is one of the first assets that comes to mind here. And all of the crypto assets, the major and most traded, especially most valuable, at least by market cap, cryptos there on your screen, also impacting some of those equity market companies like Coinbase here, pre-market down by about 16%, Robinhood down 16%. So so all these things considered, Bitcoin is one of the assets that, even as we're seeing it cross back below 50,000 here, at least as of a few minutes ago, uh, and a level that we hadn't seen, as you mentioned, since February, I think the larger thought going forward is, okay, for cryptocurrency, where are we likely to see even more of the same fervor to continue green lighting other asset types that are continuing to touch this? You also have more trading desks that are getting allowance to finally push crypto assets to their clients too. And so if larger institutions are looking at that as a green light, there's still a lot of the fundamentals in place. It's just a de-risking of the riskiest assets here. And it's not just digital gold that's falling. It's also physical gold that is now still holding above 2,400, but off of the 2,500 level that we'd seen last week.